it's time for some real education. Now, if you're a smart person out there and you watch Instant Classics regularly, you know that Michelangelo Marisi, otherwise known as Caravaggio, is one of our favorites. And today, Dr. Duke is considering Caravaggio's The Beheading of St. John the Baptist. The picture is one of Caravaggio's masterpieces, as well as one of the most important works in Western painting. The oil on canvas painting is massive. It's 12 feet by 17 feet, depicting the execution of John the Baptist, while nearby a servant girl stands with a golden platter to receive his head. This painting was commissioned by the Knights of Malta. Caravaggio got into some really trouble. He was your typical artist, right? Brilliant as a creator, but just psychologically and behaviorally messed up. Uh, probably now we think maybe he was bipolar, something like that. Uh, but he actually had to run away from Rome, where he was situated, because he killed somebody in a duel. Murdered somebody in a duel, ran away, and, and, it had, and the Pope's men, the, the, the officers of the Pope, were actively seeking Caravaggio to be dragged back to Rome and either imprisoned or executed. So he kept running, 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 ran to Naples, and finally ended up in Malta, where the Knights of the Hospital, or the Hospitaller Knights were, the Knights of St. John the Baptist were. And he became a member of this secret military organization. And, be, and, and one of the reasons they took him is because they recognized the Knights that he was a great painter. And he could take the, the, the headquarters of the Knights of Malta and really turn it in to some kind of a, a beautiful place. And he, this is the picture he gave them over the high altar. It, these are the Knights of St. John, uh, St. John the Baptist, and there it is, right? I mean, this picture is staggering. Uh, it is one of the great works of Western literature. It's one of the great paintings of Western art. One of the great paintings ever, ever, uh, ever conceived. First of all, look at the depth in the picture. You've got the arch, you've got the window. Uh, and then there in the foreground, you've got, looking through the jail, through the window jail, you've got a couple of criminals who are staring at the scene. You've got a, an assassin who has got John pinned down in a very brutal way reaching behind his back with his right arm to, to uh, dislodge the knife from the sheep sheath that's going to cut the head off John the, Bath the Baptist. Go ahead, give us a little closer picture, Mike. The gruesomeness of the image here, uh, the, re the reality of it, the verisimilitude of the image. And you can see the blood spurting from the wound. And in the blood at the bottom right-hand corner, you can see one of the, the only time, actually, that Michelangelo Marisi Caravaggio actually signed one of his pictures. He actually, in the blood, now remember, this is a man who's wanted for blood. He has wanted a dead or alive man. He's wanted for the killing of a, a criminal in Rome. He's written his name in blood to, to make a statement, right? In a way, Caravaggio is associating himself in this picture with John uh, and the violence that's ensued here. Again, this was commissioned by the Knights of Malta as an altarpiece. Uh, the painting was, as Katie pointed out, the largest Caravaggio would ever paint. It still hangs in St. John's Co-Cathedral in Malta, for which it was commissioned, and where Caravaggio himself was inducted briefly and served as a knight. Caravaggio's service to the order was brief and troubled, however. He was soon given, he was soon became a fugitive from justice for assaulting another fellow knight. So he, he almost killed another one of his brother knights. He ran away from Malta, was running from the Roman police and running, running now for the knights of Malta. But out of this suffering and angst and misery and this troubled mind of this great genius, you go back and take one last glimpse of what that power, what that troubled, turbulent life could do when it was transitioned through art.